Yo, 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 what's up, everybody, man? It's Skinny the Don, man, on the Skinny the Don Addicts channel, man. And, yo, y'all don't know that I am a great chef. That's right, Chef Skin RD. And uh, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if y'all picking up what I'm putting down. If not, leave it on the ground and get gone. It's Memorial Day. I'm going to show y'all the Skinny the Don's famous cookout chicken recipe. Grilling chicken, hamburger, something slight. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yo, let's get into it. First thing, you got to start off with good meat. Good meat. I use uh, Nature's Promise All Natural uh, Fresh Chicken uh, Leg Quarters. You know what I mean? You want the meat nice, seasoned, all natural, go on the grill, cook up. And, you know, I got some burgers I'm going to throw in there. So, hey, let's get these things good and seasoned. First thing, man, you can't spare the seasoning, bro. Start off with some seasoning salt. The bottom's already seasoned. Um, did that to save some time. Get that seasoning salt. Then come back behind it with that soul food seasoning. That soul food seasoning, you see that? Soul food seasoning. Don't spare it, man. Don't spare it. Then this here, New Orleans Cajun seasoning. Because we're doing the Caribbean jerk marinade. Shout out to Chase Bank Gaming. You know about that New Orleans seasoning. New Orleans seasoning right here. Bam. So that's the basics. Hit it with a little paprika. Come back. This here onion powder. Oh, this one didn't get that paprika. And hit it with that garlic powder. Then after you get this here chicken all nice and seasoned up, I'm gonna take my Lowry's Caribbean jerk with papaya juice mixed in, marinade. Pour that thing on there. It says 15 minutes, but I'm gonna leave it way longer than that, okay? At least an hour while I let the grill heat up. Now for the burgers, you know what I mean? This is when you go light on the seasoning salt. Light on the seasoning salt. And it's a reason why we are going light on the seasoning salt, and I'm gonna show you. Got this grill mate hamburger. We're gonna spread it out. That's done. We got this Chicago steak seasoning. That's the reason why we go light on the seasoning salt. You don't want your burgers over salty. And then we got this here Chop House seasoning butter. Well, Y'all can't mess with me in this here kitchen. Don't spare it. Then you'll repeat that on the same side of the burger. Now it's time to get this here grill ready. <laughs> now we got the chicken all marinated up. You feel me? And we on this here expert grill. And uh, right now you see it's too hot. It's over 600 degrees. I'm giving y'all, man, too many tips, bro. A lot of y'all go ahead and throw y'all meat on here. Man, get it down to between 450 and 400 before you start cooking, man. Before you start cooking. Bro, this here is too hot. You see it's still going up about 700. That's why y'all burn y'all meat. That's why y'all burn y'all meat, man. But yeah, right here. And you see I got that sazon. That sazon. Whatever you call it. If you're not cooking with sazon, man, you're wrong. But yeah. Let me take you out here, man. Real quick. 
See what my wife got going on out here. What's this? She got watermelon growing. Tomatoes. I think this here squash, I don't know. I don't know what all this here stuff is. She, she got me some serrano peppers growing. Look, them things growing off the vine, boy. But soon as the grill cools down, then I will be putting the meat on there. Some people like to spray the grill with like water, spray bottle. I don't do that. I don't do that. I just let it come down. So now that we got it down a little bit, lay the chicken out. About to put the burgers on in a minute. Let this here chicken get this here smoke. And this is the part when you get that sazoon working. Get that sazoon working, yo. That sazoon gonna give it that color. It's gonna give it that color. You feel me? That's what that sazoon gonna do. Now we drop these here Angus burgers on here. And we just let the grill do what it do. What it do? As y'all can see, throwing the hamburgers on that sassoon that gave it that color. So it's a matter of time now, people. Okay, skinny naughty. Now, now you might think that they're ready, but I'm gonna put them up here for a little of that indirect heat. And I'm gonna put these here hamburgers right over here in the corner right here so they can get that smoke and uh, hit them with that sweet baby Ray's barbecue. And then we about to have some. So it's ready for me to pull off the grill right now. I forgot to hit y'all with my famous grill corn. That's my bad, but um, yo. Got four patties, there's four of us. Um, so it'll be one extra left over because my wife's not eating meat right now. She's just eating like seafood and vegetables. So we got a leg quarter. We got two leg quarters for each of us. So that's how we rock it. So here you got the finishing product right here with that sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce and these here burgers. But I didn't give y'all like my full recipe, bro, because um, you don't know the, what I put on the grill with the charcoal or none of that. So don't think y'all know all that. But if you're picking up what I'm putting down, hit the subscribe button and stick around. If not, leave it on the ground and get going, man. Love y'all guys. Yeah, this here is just a little family vlog, man. Memorial Day. Hope y'all had a great Memorial Day and we out.